What's a, what's a six-letter word starting with the letter P that means someone who says they're going to do something but doesn't do it? Mm, praxis? YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and welcome to my giant hole in the ground. Now, if you're a longtime viewer of mine, you might be under the impression that I'm planning on turning this into a fallout shelter slash root cellar situation. I think I, you might have gotten that impression because I explicitly said that's what I was doing with it. Uh, well, there have been some changes in my life, uh, and I think whenever things change, you need to be able to reevaluate whatever direction you're heading in, and I've decided to stop this project where it is right here. Uh, the reason is, it's a good reason, uh, I'm moving to a new location, a, a better location, I'm going to be do, building my homestead 2.0, I'm taking all the lessons that I've learned from living here, uh, and continue all the good things that worked, uh, improving all the things that could be done better. I'm very excited about that, I'm obviously going to be taking you along on that journey, um, but there are some projects that are half done here, you know, or in some state of being completed, that with my leaving, maybe don't make sense for me to continue with anymore, and I think this is one of them. Um, while I think that there is value to a root cellar and you know, even a fallout shelter, I'm not sure that the general market feels that way. And continuing to dump resources into this project, I think doesn't make sense for me at the moment. I think I should be putting my resources into the future, into the next location. So that's my plan, uh, is that I'm stopping this project here and I'm going to be building the fallout shelter and the root cellar at, at the next location. So I'll be doing that. Um, what I'm going to be doing with this spot is turning it into a goldfish pond. I think that'd be kind of neat. It's really deep. I think I could get a nice, good four, five, six foot uh, deep goldfish pond in here, and I think that'd be attractive for whoever is in this home next. And um, and it's not that much work to you know put a liner down and you know fill it up with water and everything. Where it would be a lot of work to finish up an entire uh, root cellar and everything like that. Plus, um, you know, there's all the expense and and everything that I and I really want to be putting that money into my future. But I'm not going to be turning it into a goldfish pond right away. I'm going to hold off on it. And the reason for that is, you know, who knows where things are going. I, you know, in a couple of months, maybe I'll start thinking to myself, you know, it's looking like maybe I would like to have that fallout shelter. So what I want to do is uh, retain this, this area as is uh, for the moment until I have the other fallout shelter. And um, it could be hastily turned into a fallout shelter with very little work, uh, you know, with, with some lumber and some dirt and everything. And that's what I want to talk about today is how can you take a pit in the ground and turn it into a fallout shelter with very little work or, or time, well, it's going to be a lot of work, but yeah, we're not talking about cement. We're talking about things you can just kind of, you know, get from the land around you. Uh, and I'm going to do a little demonstration of uh, one of the easiest ways of quickly turning a hole in the ground into a fallout shelter. But I'm not going to do it here because I'm getting attacked by mosquitoes. I think I'm going to go over there. Well, I relocated all the way over here and there's still some mosquitoes here, but it's better than it was over there. And also the ground is covered in all this, these wood chips from me chopping up logs. So it'll be really clear where I'm digging and uh, in what is undisturbed ground. So I think this is an all right place. First of all, I'm going to start by pulling up this plant. And this, this is actually a plantain. You can eat this. One of the, this was brought over from Europe. This is a very useful plant here. You can eat all the different parts of the plant on this guy. Uh, seed casings, leaves, roots, all of it. It's a very useful plant. It has some medicinal plant uh, properties too, but we're not talking about plants today. We're talking about converting a hole into a fallout shelter really quickly. So what I'm first going to do is recreate the hole that I have in the other place. I've just got this little pick, and I'm going to do a miniature version right here. So I'm going to dig right down here. And, oh, I thought this was soft ground, but there are, there are some sticks in here. I actually I raised up this, the level of this ground myself and dumped a bunch of sticks in here, apparently. Okay, so we've got a trench going right here, and that's the basic uh, form of these root... Of, wow, I put a lot of sticks down here. The basic form of these uh, hastily built uh, fallout shelters is... There we go. Is a trench. So we got our trench here. Isn't that, it's so much faster and easier when you work at a small scale, huh? So I'm going to put this dirt all over here. We've got our trench here. And you want this to be big enough so that you can kind of move around it, but not so big that it becomes a real big major uh, excavating project. The idea is you want this to be, you know, three, five, six maybe feet across and, you know, 
15 feet long, something like that, in that magnitude. For scale, I, I have a little action figure. This is Disney's Figment. You know, River really doesn't use action figures. I was hoping I could find like a G.I. Joe or something, but he's got hundreds of trucks, but no action figures. So this is from my childhood. Uh, so here's Figment for scale. We'll presume that Figment is human-sized, about six feet tall. Now, before I go any further into this, I want to say again, don't just watch this video and think you know what you're doing. Get a good book. This is an awesome book. Nuclear War Survival Skills by Crescent Kearney. You can download a free version of this on the internet, um, you know, if you don't want to pay for the entire book. I think it's nice to have a paper copy. Um, but get yourself a book. There's going to be a lot more details about this process that are in this book that I'm not going to be covering today. I'm just giving you a basic overview of how you can quickly turn a hole into a fallout shelter. So once you've got your hole uh, and you've read the book, uh, what you want to do is get a bunch of logs. And I just quickly chopped up a bunch of these little hemlock logs. And you're going to lay your logs across. Actually, these logs are a little bit short for the trench that I made. But you're going to be laying your logs across like this, making a roof. These are definitely shorter than you would want them. So you lay your logs out like, like that. And you've got an entrance at one end that you can go into. And you might want to have an exit at the other end, or you might want to continue them right across. Once you've got the logs on top, you're taking some of this dirt back and you're putting dirt on top. Now you can put some cloth, canvas, or tarp or something like that over the logs to try to uh, you know keep the dirt from falling through. That would be helpful. On the small scale, I don't need that, but certainly on a large scale with as big gaps between the logs, you, you might well want to have some canvas or something. So you want to you want to pack this up on top of your your mound like this. And again, coming all the way back here, you know, if you get enough logs, uh, and then. After you've put uh, you know a couple feet on there, you want to you want to put a, a tarp down, and the reason for that is if there's rain, you don't want the rain saturating all of this dirt that you have on top of your logs and making it extra heavy because that is a lot of weight. There's a danger factor here, and again, I should probably mention all this stuff is the kind of thing that you would do if the alternative is dying. There are there are risks associated with this. You, you know, you want big timbers. Maybe you can't get the, the timbers big enough and whatnot, you know, there are risks with doing this. So this is as an alternative to certain death in a nuclear holocaust. Um, but what you want to do is make sure that this doesn't get saturated with water. Uh, and also you don't want the, uh, the water going down if it is radioactively contaminated water. Uh, so you want some kind of a, <laughs> that's funny. That, that, isn't that a great bag for a fallout shelter? <laughs> okay, cool. So you want to have a tarp over there. I'm using a plastic bag for the model. And then you're putting some more dirt over that and mounding that up. You're looking for something that is in the order of a couple of feet thick, two, three feet, because it's the, the mass, the bulk of all this dirt that is doing the protecting. And then you're gonna put that all up around there. Now there are a lot of other little bits of information uh, that are in the book about you wanna have an air intake and all that kind of stuff, but this is your basic idea. You dig a trench in the ground, Get some cut poles around that, you know, cut trees in your area if you live in a place where you can get trees easily. Put some dirt on top, put a tarp on top, put some more dirt on top, try to get about two, three feet of dirt up on there, and you get an entrance in, and you cross your fingers. Again, this is dangerous stuff. It's something you would do as an alternative to absolute certain death, but uh, it's, it's a starting point, and it gives you something that you can feel like you can do uh, in the event that there is a crisis or something. So I'm going to have Figment sort of go down into his fallout shelter. Uh, once he gets in there, you would be uh, putting, if you can do sandbags or, you know, a, a, any way of creating a wall of earth. Uh, if you can uh, make it kind of a, uh, an S-curve sort of shape of, of mounds on the way in, that will help to... Uh, uh, you know, eliminate the radiation going in this end. But realistically, if you make this long enough, the radiation can be coming in on this end, uh, you know, from particles out here. And if you're back at the other end of the thing, you know, it's at least going to offer you quite a bit better protection than you would have if you were, you know, walking around on the surface up here. So that's it. Again, I apologize for jerking you around on my permanent uh, fallout shelter, root shelter. I will be, uh, root, root cellar, I will be doing that video at some point, uh, you know, over the next couple of years when I, when I put that thing together. But at the moment, I wanted to share with you what's my plan, that what I would do if, in between now and when I get that uh, together, how I could hastily put together something that would somewhat protect myself and my family. That's it. Thanks for watching. 
Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.